Number two from the 2000 Advanced Tire, five marks, two little differentiations, very simple little differentiations. First one, just differentiate this trick expression here. Well, there's a little technicality at the side, a little bit of legalese, because obviously cost can only go from one to negative one. That's why that part in there can only go from one to negative one, so the X itself can only be a third, negative a third. But you don't need to use that just to do this part. No, you're just concentrating that. So what's F dash to X? Well, inverse sine, you know, the derivatives of sines and cosines go in opposite directions. The derivative of inverse cos is simply the negative of the one for inverse sine. So that's negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus the thing it's operating on squared, the inner function squared. And if that inner function isn't just x, you then multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is just a 3. And then just tidy that up. So I've got negative 3 over the square root of 1 minus well, I'll just make that into 9x squared, and that'll do for two marks. Second part of number two, given these two parametric equations, find the derivative dy by dx in terms of theta, which it would be anyway. So what we've got here then, so just differentiate those with respect to the variable we've got, with respect to the parameter. So dx by d theta, and it's just a case of remembering that, the 2 is just the coefficient, sec goes to sec tan, sec theta, tan theta, and sine just goes to cos. And if I want dx, dy by dx, I'll just have to do dy by d theta, multiply that by d theta by dx. So that would be then dy by d theta, that's 3 cos theta, times 1 over, which is a reciprocal of it, or I could just put it underneath, 2 sec theta tan theta. And it's just a case of how would I like to tidy that up, because obviously cos and sec are related, so they could go together. And I could get some more coses out of that tan, so I could split it all up like this. I've got 3 up in 2 anyway, and I'll just play about with the rest. So a sec means 1 over cos, that'll give me another cos on top. So, so far I've got cos squared theta on top. Tan would be sine over cos, as it's going to be a sine underneath, and another cos up on top. So altogether then, I've got 3 cos cubed theta over 2 sine theta for dy by dx. And that would do nicely, as they say, 5 marks. Oh.